Hey, it's seeding time. <laughs> Tell you what, cool temperatures, naturally rainy season. Let's get grown grass. How about it? Why is why do we call this lasagna method? Lasagna. Let's use the lasagna method. I, I had a, I had a customer this morning before we came in the studio. He's grow. He wants to grow grass. Has a little area. Uh, is going to till it all. And that the key is is that if you want to do bare soil or you want to do bare spots, you're going to have to get the seed in contact with the soil. And I'm not talking throwing down an artificial layer of like topsoil and putting it on that, which happens to be on a thatch layer, which is going to sprout seed and then dry out. And boy, that seed doesn't work. Um, You have to get it into the natural soil first. So let's, let's talk lasagna. Now that's Italian. It's Italian. Oh, it is. Italian. I have, haven't had good lasagna in a while. Yeah. I'm hungry. Anyway, <laughs> first, you have your natural soil level. And if you're doing a full bare spot, air, like not a bare spot, but a full area, like if you're doing a 10 by 10 piece of, of soil, you can add bumper crop into the soil, mix it in, turn it over and, and get it in there. Remember, it's your only chance you might be able to get that done. So uh, I encourage you to make sure that you do that. So you have to get the seed in contact with the soil. So whether it's bare spots or whether it is a, a big open area, you need to make sure that you have the, the soil somewhat loosened and not put it on the thatch or put it on... Yeah. Hard, I, hard soil. Right. I mean, there are areas in our listening area where they've got clay. And all right, Julio, another question. Will Julio get this right? I know. I want to bet, Aaron. I, I don't know. I don't think he's going to. Okay. okay. <laughs> what, if you plant grass seed, what sprouts first? The, the leaf or the root? The root. Very good. Well, I would have lost. <laughs> um, <laughs> and that's the thing is that when a seed germinates, it sends a little root hair out. If that root hair, like, just is in the air, <laughs> it'll dry out and it'll die. So it won't have that sustenance that it needs, the moisture that it needs, the contact of the soil to anchor in that it needs if you're just doing it over the soil. Now, granted, if you're overseeding your lawn when you're just throwing grass seed around on top of your lawn, hoping that it works into the to the soil level, your percentages of success is going to be limited, but it's a heck of a lot easier than trying to till it all over and, and get it in there. If you do a thatch, you got to make sure all that thatch is picked up and then you can put the soil on. But again, it's the lasagna method. You have to get seed in contact with the soil. And that what we're primarily talking about is open areas where you're doing a large area of reseeding, whether it's a whole lawn, whether it's a larger patch, or you're doing it in bare spots. So you get down to your regular soil line, you go ahead and put the seed down, then you lasagna it on top with with the seed and more soil. Now you're going to use something like a cover, like bumper crop is what we recommend. If your bumper crop is is better than so, than topsoil just simply because it has more moisture holding ca- uh, capacity it has lots of great um elements from bat guano to worm castings to you name it it's got everything, everything. but the kitchen sink that will add elements and nurture the seed that it can't get from just a bag of fertilizer so it adds more to it so again, soil, seed, soil, soil, seed, soil. Also putting soil on top of the seed will hide it from the birds because you don't want uh, grass seeds a little expensive to be feed into the birds. So you want to cover it up and, and bumper crop is what we recommend. Then last but not least, you want to apply fertilizer, a granular fertilizer and look, whether it's your whole lawn and you don't do any seeding or if you're just doing seeding in a small spot or a big spot the analysis on the fall fertilizer bags 
are almost identical to starter fertilizers. Uh, there was a $5 difference today in the cost of your regular fall fertilizer versus your starter fertilizer. And that I suggested to the customer, hey, save the five bucks and go ahead and put down just a regular fall fertilizer. And then that way you're getting the elements that you need for everywhere. So again, it's soil seed, soil fertilizer and then one thing that people say oh but i'm walking on my new seed that's okay you're compressing it down and you're you're pushing it down so that it's getting in good seed soil contact and then remember when you water you got to keep it moist but not wet you water it to the point you don't want it to run off and all of a sudden go down the the storm drain you want to keep it moist but not wet. So don't completely saturate it to where water is running off your lawn, but you want to keep it moist. So you're going to have to do that because like Julio and I talked about just a bit ago, if that seed germinates, sends out a root hair and that root hair dries out, it's going to die. So you need to keep that soil moist so it sends out that root hair where it finds its way into the soil and then goes out. Anything to add, Julio? As far as the watering goes, Len, uh, you know, um that's a that's critical right there because you know, a lot critical. of people don't you know don't see that part of it. No, nope. um, they, they need to make sure that they don't overwater or underwater. Well, it's again it's it's with seed. You know, I would almost favor, favor overwatering over-water. than underwatering because underwatering it kills everything. So again, make sure that you're getting it moist, not wet. You don't want it to the point of runoff. Um, we're given a helping hand by the natural fall rainy season. And then guess what? We get another rainy season in the spring to help it to, to finish out. Um, again, do not put any weed con- weed controls or weed and feed. You can't do that. So just keep water, regular fall fertilizer. You'll be made in the shade as long as you plant shade seed. Right? <laughs> 